Hi and welcome to the weekly predictions based on astrology for the week of May 18, 2020. First, let's do a really quick uh, recap of the predictions for the previous week. Uh, in terms of the stock market directions, I predicted that pretty much uh, every day of the last week uh, would be an update except uh, a drop on Wednesday. And what we had, we had uh, mixed uh, results on Monday where uh, Dow Jones was down but Nasdaq was up. Then on Tuesday, uh, market actually went down. In the second half of the day, there was a fairly major drop, about 2% after uh, 2 p.m. Wednesday was down as predicted, and then Thursday and Friday uh, were updates, uh, days as predicted as well. So basically, I was expecting a midday, a midweek drop, and the drop had started a little bit sooner, uh, and then market recovered Thursday, Friday. Uh, in terms of some other uh, ongoing background influences, uh, as I mentioned already many times, uh, throughout 2019 and 2020, we have uh, this background influence of Saturn and Pluto conjunction in Capricorn, which typically co uh, corresponds to major geopolitical shifts, increased seismic activity, and increased news about various major accidents, epidemics or uh, like AIDS, for example, or now we have COVID-19, as well as uh, just um, disasters on a large scale that may involve like collapse of bridges, collapse of old buildings, or vice versa, major sort of new um, initiatives. Perhaps a structure is being erected that is going to stand for many decades. So in terms of the seismic activity, we did have um, a fairly major earthquake, 6.5 in uh, Nevada, border of California and Nevada, in fact. And this was a of strongest earthquake in Nevada for uh, in the past 66 years. Uh, I have not um, seen too many news about, uh, again, there's some, of course, ongoing geopolitical changes, uh, but then I didn't see any news about any major old leaders or powerful leaders stepping away per se. Uh, again, um, it's not that I'm following uh, things every uh, news every day, but I'm, I may have missed it, but I didn't see anything noteworthy. Uh, in terms of other news that were specific for uh, certain dates in the past week, I made a prediction of increased news about activities related to oil, gas, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, beverages, navy, etc. Uh, around May 12 and 13 and what I did see that on May 11 uh, there was some news about incident in the Strait of uh, or near the Strait of Hormuz where there was I guess some drill being done by Iranian ship and they had uh, fired uh, a missile accidentally at least 19 were killed and 15 injured then on the 12th of May, there was news from St. Petersburg, Russia, about uh, a fire that broke out at a hospital. And five patients died, patients died and 150 or so were evacuated. And then uh, outside of these two dates that I gave, 12th and 13th, but still I guess close enough, on the 15th, there was news about a blaze uh, at the uh, chemical plant near Venice. So some things to note, and this relates to sort of uh, predictions that are going into June of this year, is that there's this increased influence or again, topics related to gas, chemicals, Navy, water, beverages, uh, pollution, uh, pharmaceuticals, healthcare, all of these Neptunian type topics. And of course, Neptune rules water in general, even in, you know, mythology. Um, will be intensifying and they will be intensifying with um, sort of a background, not background, but with the uh, focus on value of related products. Is something worth it? it is, you know, are we overpaying, underpaying, etc. As well as, or the loss of value or uh, vice versa, gain value, something maybe rising in price a lot or dropping in the price also a lot. And also a focus on kind of more and more as we approach mid-June, on um, incidents, accidents, explosions, explosions, fires, or some rash activities, risky activities, or push for something more and more aggressively. Uh, that has to do with Mars kind of currently in Pisces approaching Neptune um, as well, which will reach conjunction about um, June 
10 and 11, which I think will correspond to uh, one, of course, major increase news about oil prices and or fighting about oil or some accident involving, say, gas leak, oil rig, etc. But also uh, uh, increased uh, sort of news about oil prices and I think also a major drop in the stock market at the same time. So as you saw, these news that I just mentioned involve these, again, two sort of uh, uh, themes. Again, we have water and fire. We have Venice is, you know, of course, you have canals and water. St. Petersburg also was built on swamps and there are many canals uh, throughout the city. And you have uh, fires uh, and in Venice, you know, it's in a chemical plant. It's not just fire. It's some, I don't know, some other kind of place, hotel, for example. It's specifically a chemical plant in St. Petersburg, Russia. It was the uh, hospital that was housing COVID-19 patients. And even in the um, incident in uh, Strait of Hormuz, we have again Navy and firing of a missile and involves military personnel. So we're going to have more and more of such events and especially, like I said, culminating around, um, let's say, June 8th through 15th, where even uh, more of such events may be in the news and anything that you can sort of think of, you know, maybe uh, incident that involves a Navy or movie theater or, you know, concert. Again, these days things are kind of on a shutdown, but it would be something involving, you know, music, videos, Navy beverages, places of worship or religious figures, places of isolation such as prisons or, um, you know, hospitals, etc., or maybe a volcanic eruption that is sur a volcano surrounded by water or even is an underwater volcano. So what I'm saying is that there were some events as I predicted last week, but we will continue seeing more of such events into June. Um, let's see. Uh, there was also news and I mentioned it, I think in last week, but basically along the lines of these predictions of focus more on, the, on these Neptunian sort of topics, including well, wet weather, excessively wet weather, uh, and uh, or some troubles, you know, on the, uh, including shipments uh, over the water, etc. Uh, there will be uh, apparently that's actually the forecast that was announced that this uh, hurricane season is expected to be stronger than usual and begins June first, and they expect at least, I guess, or more than six rather major hurricanes this year, and so uh, indeed. Who knows, it could be that even as early as uh, June, there may be some really strong storms coming our way. Mm -hmm. uh, I also made prediction for the 12th and 13th of May that there will be increased uh, focus on profits and value in uh, certain areas, including retail sales, communication and transportation industries, and that there may be news about turnabouts or some um, cancellations or some changes in logistics of how something is, say, produced or uh, sold or delivered. And uh, we did see news on May 11th um, uh, from California that uh, Elon Musk had, I guess, reopened um, a Tesla plant reg uh, regardless of the um, order, I guess, of the quarantine. Since then, he had received, uh, I guess, a permission to go ahead and reopen. And so this could be a manifestation of that transit that I was seeing. I didn't see too many other news. Obviously, there are ongoing news about retailers uh, having some issues because of the quarantine, but those are, I wouldn't put them as a, like any major highlight because those are minor sort of ongoing um, events. And let's see, and this is not so much maybe an event per se, but again, the sort of uh, manifestation of the transits in the sense that Basically, there was a news last week on May 12th uh, that uh, there was a fairly major drop in the um, airline stocks and uh, Boeing CEO had warned about possible like lengthy recovery or even industry bankruptcy at that time. And indeed, I did see and I did put in my predictions that for one, for US, um, this year, uh, around mid-February to early July, and then in November, December, there will be increased focus on major, like large corporations, and uh, especially in um, 
related to communication, transportation, and retail sales that there may be news about like end of a cycle or even bankruptcy. And then globally, um, from December of this year into February of next year, there will be increased news about either large corporations or even governments, um, either indeed getting some sort of bailout and or declaring bankruptcies and or more of them of such businesses uh, getting under governmental control. So perhaps a nationalization of some uh, industry indeed. And the areas that might be affected the most, so that's globally, uh, indeed might be related to IT, telecoms, electric power, social networks, aerospace, which includes uh, airlines. And of course, um, indeed uh, for Boeing itself, I did see uh, some time ago, again, haven't revisited in a while, but I do remember looking at its chart and uh, at the chart of the period in the 80s where it was a period of a Boeing bust, where I guess a lot of jobs were cut in Seattle area, etc. And so Boeing, indeed, its chart is going to be um, having some uh, negative uh, stressful aspects coming in, as well as we will have also soon here, uh, basically, uh, we have Saturn moving into uh, Aquarius, when Saturn has to do with things, indeed, more government control, as well as things being kind of more uh, developing in the larger production, uh, from a larger uh, commercial scale and uh, maybe building of uh, large structures or uh, industrializing something. And uh, at the same time, things will kind of slow down, become more massive. But again, just like if you think if, if you have to have a large corporation, it moves slower and there are more uh, rules and regulations. Again, for better or worse, things may be more reliable, but also things will not be uh, jumping you know, into production quite as quickly as you would have like with a start startup. So, and this is coming to the area of Aquarius, which again has to do with like IT industry, airlines, of course, aerospace projects, um, telecommunications, anything to do with electricity, electric gadgets, um, social networks, all of these internet related kind of a distributed architecture, you know, cloud computing. So we will have a little bit more kind of an influence from the government. Things may slow down more, but also they will be implemented on a larger scale. And this will be supported by governments um, and controlled more by governments again. And it doesn't have to be anything negative. Uh, it could be just regulation that makes things kind of more um, reliable and um, predictable. But at the same time, things may be moving slower because again, these kind of large scope projects and more regulation will slow things down. And for airlines, it might indeed mean uh, being nationalized because we'll have Saturn as kind of a more restrictive uh, influence, influence associated with governments coming into the area of uh, that is ruled by, you know, or uh, airlines a part of this uh, energy. So moving on to the predictions for this week, May uh, 18th, uh, we have this ongoing global influence. Like I said, we will continue experiencing increased probability of earthquake, volcanic eruptions, etc. And this week it peaks on May 18, Monday. And I think there was already um, an earthquake in Greece. And I forgot, forgot where else. Uh, today, I think off of the coast of California. So, and I'm recording this on the 18th. Um, but I did post my predictions at telstunka.com. That's my blog. I usually post those uh, first on Sundays and record the blog, uh, video blog on Monday. So let's see. Then we have this uh, ongoing uh, on-off all-year influence where we will have increased focus on governmental regulations, controls, embargoes, taxes, tariffs, and reorganizing some structures such as re reorganizing leadership or changes in leadership, reorganization at the uh, level of large corporations, and these may involve uh, various like shakeups, both in terms of literally earthquakes, but also shakeups as far as like who is in charge at the top of the corporation. And this may even be accompanied by some increased tensions in the world, uh, protests, anti-governmental protests, and or some scandals involving either top officials, again, the governments or corporations. And uh, this will be on off all year, but the next period of intensified energy, both globally and for US, 
separately and for China, also separately, is August of this year. And then particularly for US, it will be August 13th through 21st, and for China, August 9th through 17th. Uh, then uh, this week, especially 20th through 22nd, that there will be increased focus on oil, gas, chemicals, alcohol, beverages, pharmaceuticals, navy, water, drugs, poisons, pollution, music, movies, photography, spirituality, healing, including various alternative approaches, various drugs, etc. And as I already mentioned, uh, the focus may be on value, whether something is increasing in value, again, more than we expected, what should be the value, and or perhaps something is dropping in value more than was predicted. However, the underlying theme would be that the value may not be kind of established, may not be clear, because either some information is not available just yet, maybe like we had this news on Monday about, um, uh, what is it, uh, some vaccine uh, is doing um, fairly well. I forgot the name of the company. Um, I just read that, but I forgot already. <laughs> uh, but basically, that uh, the influence will be that uh, there will be confusion or uncertainty about what the value is or will be in the near term because perhaps a drug is new or uh, the pricing hasn't yet been established or it's not clear where the prices are headed, like gas prices, in which direction they're headed. And uh, there may be uh, you know, competing uh, predictions you know, from the uh, market analysts about what the prices will be, again, in these kind of Neptunian areas. Or again, it could be movies, it could be also uh, like cruise ships, all of that falls in, in this um, sort of uh, area. But either way, there, there may also be increased news about either sales of, say, tickets or acquisitions or sales of, you know, products. And those will peak May 20th through 22nd. And um, I think that uh, even though we had this major, major rally, I thought actually Monday the market will be down about only 55% chance, but I certainly didn't expect a large rally that we had today. But I think still uh, that in uh, towards the end of the week especially, we will have a significant drop. So long story short, I think market will overall be down for the week. Every day I have a prediction down. Monday was just a slight down, certainly I didn't see up. But um, Wednesday through Friday, we will see strong moves in the market, and I still think it will be down. Uh, partly because of this confusion or some sort of false information or uh, things being in the state of flux. I don't think that the prices for, say, oil have yet uh, been, are yet on their final track. I think there will still be a major. Uh, situation unfolding early to mid-June and uh, we will still have another market drop both in May and especially early to mid-June sometime. Let's see, and in terms of uh, China and coronavirus information, um, I do think that again there will still be another wave of or even a couple waves of uh, information uh, specifically for China uh, July and then October, November look significant. And of those, uh, basically the entire period of August through November looks looks the most significant where there will be maybe increased news about either new wave of uh, pandemic or drop or rise in death toll or some regulations being implemented or some measures to somehow transform the situation, prevent uh, certain issues or some sort of lucky break where some news come out about, again, specifically for China, how they're handling something related to this uh, COVID-19. And uh, in particular, I guess the final sort of final period of uh, this peak of information related to this uh, pandemic, I think will be November 9th through 13th. And that's where we may hear about like the final idea of the decision, perhaps to reopen, live the quarantine or to implement some changes that maybe will be permanent from there on. So basically, I would still be looking towards, you know, November of this year for China where uh, as the date where we may start finally feeling the slowdown or kind of this effect of this uh, COVID-19 going away for now. Um, that said, uh, if we look at the transits that were in place 
when Spanish flu had occurred back in, in 1918, we had, um, I believe it was Saturn and Neptune uh, transit, and we will have the same transit coming up in 25, 2025, 2026. And so uh, that's when, if indeed we are going to have a truly major pandemic with uh, major uh, uh, sort of diseases that are related to some medical or biomedical cause, it will likely be in 25, 26. So I would say keep an eye on those dates. At the same time in 25, we will have Neptune switching signs from Pisces where it's comfortable it rules Pisces into Aries. And Aries, of course, uh, is the beginning of the new cycle and uh, has to do with things like sports. So we can think, um, you know, more news about, say, doping. It also has to do with things like uh, fire, fighting, explosions. So we may indeed hear more news about, say, bioweapons and or just uh, pollution of water because, again, Neptune obviously is not so comfortable in uh, areas and or even drying out of certain bodies of water, water becoming uh, polluted or unavailable, etc. And of course, it may also affect oil prices and it will likely 25, uh, 2025 may coincide with a major uh, reversal in oil prices as well. So moving on to this week, um, May uh, 4th or 21st for US, especially May 8 and 18, and then July 27th or 30th, may see uh, some sort of uh, increased positive news, such as improves, improved earnings, um, additional funding, increased value, permissions granted, or some other beneficial developments for uh, businesses related to sports, racing, engines, military, as well as stock market in general, entertainment industry, and casinos. And I guess we did hear uh, positive news, uh, hopeful news about the stock market um, for US uh, on May 18th. Let's see. And uh, the reason I mentioned July 27th or 30th is that this whole confusion that I still believe we will see this week about like prices or value of certain products, including gas, movies, etc., and companies you know that are um, associated with those areas that those that confusion may finally be lifted around the end of July and the real sort of value of something may be then um, settled. Uh, so right now if things may be in the center of flux by end of July it may be a little bit more clear as to what the real value is and the direction at that point may be more settled of the stocks of the related you know Neptunian uh, companies as well as uh, stock market for US in general. For May 19th through 22nd, especially the 20th and the 22nd, uh, there may be strong focus on oil, gas, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, healthcare, navy, religion, wet weather, etc. And we already had with this news about, uh, I keep forgetting, is it Miranda, it's not Miranda, it's some other company where they had some positive news about the vaccine trials, but we will hear even more of such news uh, this week, especially towards the end of the week. Then um, May 20th or 22nd, yet again, so it's Wednesday through Friday, will be quite busy news days, uh, as well as, uh, you know, for other um, areas, including specifically communication, transportation, retail sales, and news about various agreements, negotiations, uh, journalists, social media, including also educators, students, education in general, and telecommunications, electric car manufacturers, airlines, IT companies. And there we may hear about um, some sort of acquisitions, deals, agreements, or sales. Uh, however, anything that's being discussed right now may not reach sort of final conclusion about what the actual value is. You say there's a negotiation about one company acquiring another, but the actual deal and final price may not be settled until the end of July this year. And US uh, for, uh, for the end of the week, 20th through 22nd of May, may exhibit kind of more assertive, not aggressive, but assertive stance in negotiations with international partners. And this approach may be beneficial for US at this time. 
then on the 22nd uh, of May, Friday, I think it will be, regardless of the direction of the market, will be a fairly strong day where the market um, move will be very large and there also will be increased news about leaders of certain businesses related to telecommunications, electric car manufacturers, airlines, IT companies, so any of these kind of electric gadgets, electronics, computers, uh, high-tech uh, companies, and they may be featured in the news and it could involve something like announcement of a long-term project or slowing down implementation of the project that's ongoing to perhaps be more careful, implement additional safety, or introduce uh, stricter rules, greater controls. Let's see, and uh, also on Friday, there may be exceptionally strong uh, focus in the news on oil prices, gas, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, as well as like cruise ships, healthcare, religion, movies, beverages, etc. And we may hear about a major sale, merge, split, acquisition involving companies in these areas as well. However, uh, at that time, uh, things may be either slightly tense or problematic, where something may not be quite going well, and uh, there may also be associated news about like problems with transportation over water. Maritime accidents, bad weather uh, and involving excessive precipitation or poisoning or pollution, but some, you know, maybe chemical explosion or chemical spilled in the water, you know, due to some maritime accident. Uh, and it, this particular accident or pollution may involve somehow either transportation or even places of education and health issues. Uh, and particularly the focus may be uh, on with, with, with respect to health issues or transportation um, issues as transportation over water, or pollution of water, chemicals, uh, or healthcare, basically may focus specifically on young people, places of education, schools, teachers, journalists, or any sort of drivers, or anyone who is involved in like communication, transportation, or teaching. So for example, maybe there's a gas lease, leak, and an explosion at some, some sort of a transportation hub. Um, or uh, at a you know places of like a college somewhere, or bad weather interferes with transportation over water, or value of some major cruise ship or movie company uh, is announced and uh, it's much lower than expected, or sales of some drug again uh, go really through the roof or drop a lot more than expected. So sort of some sort of major announcements on Friday. And looking ahead, just into sort of a May and through mid-June, uh, there may be, again, fairly stressful news for the market and the big drop on the 26th of May. And around May 26, 27, there may be also increased news about geopolitical changes, earthquakes, um, too much precipitation, anti-governmental protests, etc. Then May uh, 31st through June 5th, especially June uh, 1st and 2nd, Again, rise in global tensions, earthquake accidents, and uh, some increased focus on gold value. And there may be some sort of um, uh, either concerns, not concerns, but something where uh, there's almost like a pause or suspension about uh, the decision or, or gold prices are somehow are not changing or there's a decision how much I guess maybe to invest in gold or by governments, obviously. Uh, something of, on a large scale where, again, somehow the value of gold is uh, perhaps in question or um, it's unclear, again, where to sort of invest money. So there's going to be some sort of a period of almost like this um, things perhaps may not be changing much or the decision is pending and this may be related to value of gold or it may be related to communication and transportation companies. Then in uh, June, like I said, the focus may switch to both, again, concerns about oil and gas, uh, either prices or there may be increased push for changes in those areas and they, this push may become more and more aggressive. So if there are, say, producers uh, of oil or some sort of chemical products or even uh, of, say, drugs or any of these Neptunian um, sort of uh, areas such as, you know, movie theaters or music or beverages, etc., cruise ships, um, navy, there may be some 
focus on making something happen in those areas where uh, basically uh, more risky activities may be allowed at that time or just kind of will spill over because uh, I guess individuals will just be tired of sort of waiting and will um, be start engaging in more risky activities. So this may coincide with either um, sort of a new wave of outbreak in uh, pandemic, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic uh, that's in June, especially 8th through 15th, and or there may be news about some other uh, disease flaring up such as cholera or like some sort of fever, diarrhea, dehydration, evolving uh, disease, um, and or some news about, um, you know, mental institutions or somebody with mental disability, say, going on some sort of rampage and doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Um, because, again, we may have this combination of uh, sort of uh, fire, explosive activities, risky activities, uh, military shooting and um, or just kind of engaging in this rash risky activities and on the other hand uh, either places of worship uh, institutions that are like laboratories or uh, even um, monasteries or mental health institutions you know elderly uh, places for elderly would um, like um, I guess care homes etc and there may be again either incidents, accidents, uh, or perhaps you know what we had previously was a fire at the marina, something that combines these more secluded, more peaceful places, and yet some sort of a risky or explosive activities uh, in those same areas. So and um, like I said, changes in the prices of oil and gas, and I believe also in another uh, market drop uh, is most likely coming sometime June 10th, 11th. Uh, so that's it for me for now. And I hope this was entertaining, interesting, and uh, you're, having, you're having a great week and I'll get you guys next time. Bye.